Okay, so what I thought I'd do in this video is share some work on a SeaDo RX TX255 2008, which I've got. And the reason for doing that is it was quite difficult to find this information on the web. So I had an error code that basically indicated that the lake water temperature sensor was failing. And after many hours of digging around on the internet, I believe that the lake water temperature sensor is in here, which you might be mistaken for thinking is just the speed sensor. So I thought I'd show you how I'm going to replace it. So the cable is actually located way down behind the intercooler pipes. So I'll have to take those out and possibly at least move the cooling expansion bottle. So about that to one side possibly <clears throat> take that one off and as much as I can not to have to dismantle the entire interior the connector with three wires in it now then I'm gonna do is just snip that so the new unit comes with the sea do attachments which basically push into the connector if I'm right so what I'm going to do is just chop off the old connector. Now it's fallen down. Okay. So forget the new one. And then around the back. See the three screws and the hole which is quite straightforward okay so I've fed the wires through and then just put one of the screws back in to the unit put the thing in 
as far as it you know, held it in place with one screw. And now I'm going to connect these to the correct place on here. So if we look at this, then we've got brown in the middle, purple on the right, and black and red on the left with the tab on the bottom and the two tabs on the top. So to remember that. And just all clips. Like so oh yeah there we go. All clips that way. And then these should pull out but I think actually because of the way they are you've got to push them through. Try on the third one. So pushing forwards as far as you can. You feel it sort of click. And I think what that does is bends the barbs back. And then basically if I pull on this, it should now come out. There we go. Okay, so pushing forward to bend these barbs down and then pulling back out. Okay, so Having got the old ones out, and we put the new ones in in the same order. And there we are with the new water temp lake water temperature sensor and speed sensor in place. And there we go, running. Another little tip, if you're working on a car or whatever, your hands are filthy. So, what do you use to clean them? Well, I've found that this stuff, mint and tea tree, original hot sauce, tingly shower gel, works a treat. There you go, so the usual 40 seconds of rubbing them together for you know what. And look, look at that. 